yeah, I am that bitch, yeah, you know I'm that bitch. My sex appeal will knock you out. Me worth the 50 rounds and labels you cannot pronounce. Let also turn your phones. Oh, what it is, y'all? Oh, what's up? Chels Nicole got a new video coming up. What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Chels Nicole, and I am back with a new video for you guys. We're going to ignore my head because as you tell, I'm doing some bantu knots. That is not for this video. That is for another video. If you would like to see that, be sure to go down, click that subscribe button and the bell so you be notified whenever I post new videos. So, your girl has been caught slipping. <laughs> Yes, your girl has been caught slipping and I was diagnosed with the COVID. <sighs> Y'all, so I went to my friend's wedding like a week or so ago and she was diagnosed with COVID. So I went to the doctor and I got a rapid test. It wasn't that bad. I... The way they talked about it, I was expecting it to be way worse than it was. It's uncomfortable, but it did not hurt. So I waited, let's see, two hours <laughs> in the doctor's office to get tested and get my results. And they came back negative. The doctor told me, well, if you don't have any symptoms by the end of the week, you should be good to go. Your girl did not have any symptoms by the end of the week. But I just was like, I'm going to just get tested again. So I got tested again at work because it's free 99. So yeah, I got tested again at work and my results came back positive that next time. So the infection can sit inside of you dormant for 5 to 10 days. So I guess that's what's happened to me because like I said, the first time I got tested, I was negative. So, even though I didn't have symptoms, I just wanted to take the test again just to be sure. And lo and behold, I have it. I got caught slipping at the wedding. I did not adhere to social distancing guidelines. I did not wear my mask like I should have. It was just a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and here we are. So, I saw this video on TikTok, it was saying, just because you are over the COVID does not mean COVID is over. And I'm over COVID. Like, I'm so over all of this, like wearing masks and all of this extraness. But COVID is not over just because I want it to be over. And here I am with the COVID. Thankfully, I do not have any symptoms. Like, I feel perfectly fine. So if I would have listened to the doctor, I could have been exposing so many people to the COVID without even knowing. So I'm glad I went back and got tested. So everything that is known about the COVID is so new. No, nothing is really known in stone. Like they're figuring this out along the way. That's another story for another day. But yeah, I I feel like we shouldn't let our guard down like I did. Don't be like me. Don't get caught slipping. Because <laughs> here I am now with the COVID. I'm going to look at it as a mini vacation for work. Since I got tested at work, they went ahead and started my like two week leave period. So I will be getting paid for up to two weeks. I can't come back until those two weeks are over. And, you know, I'm going to use this as a little break because y'all know I'm a workaholic. I work all the time. I used to have two jobs. Now I just have one, but I still work a lot. So this break is going to be much needed. I don't know what I'm going to do with my time. Like, this is probably going to be a lot of sleeping and Netflixing. My good friend Chocolate's here on YouTube. She did two videos about shows you should watch on Netflix. I will link those down below. Go check them out. Go check her out. I'm probably going to be checking out all those videos because what better to do with two weeks than to binge some shows on Netflix? What better to do? I'm also going to try to vlog. If it's too boring, 
which it might be because like I said it's gonna be a whole lot of Netflixing and probably reorganizing some stuff like I'm gonna have to find some things to keep myself busy you know they say I think like an absent mind is the devil's playground. That's why I don't like to not have anything to do because when I don't have anything to do, hell breaks loose. So I'd rather have things to do. But we're going to come up with things to do. I'm going to vlog that for you guys. I hope that the rest of this time goes smoothly. Like I said, I think it's been a week since my friend got it or since my friend tested positive for it so and that I've been around her so I don't know if this is the first week second week but this is the first week since I got well the first day or so since I got my results back and so I can't go back to work for two weeks anyway because this that's when I first got my results that's neither here or there mini vacation okay I'm going to find some things to do. I'm going to vlog that for you guys. I'm not going to make it too long because, like I said, who wants to see me watching Netflix and all that stuff? <laughs> the whole video. But I, I, I am going to try to do some little fun stuff in there. Like you can see, I got bantu knots in my head. These things take forever to dry in my regular life. I will have to, you know, try to rush the drying process. And usually it's not finish drying because I don't have enough time but I ain't got nothing but time now you guys <laughs> but yeah I do want to say be safe out there make sure you are following the social distancing guidelines I also want to say make sure you're wearing your mask like don't let your guard down just because you're ready for it to be over it's not over you know we still got to do what we got to do to try to stay healthy. Another thing I would like to say is all of this is a guessing game. Like these doctors don't know what they're talking about. Well, they know what they're talking about a little bit, but they're still guessing. So like I said, my the doctor I went to, he told me, oh, well, if you don't get any symptoms by the end of the week, you're good. I didn't get any symptoms by the end of the week. But I just went and got tested just to get tested. And here I am, positive, with COVID, with no symptoms. So you can be out there with no symptoms thinking that you're okay when you're really not. And it's the people like me who don't have symptoms and they're just walking around their everyday life not having symptoms, not knowing that they have it. So like the people that have symptoms, they have the symptoms and they go and get tested and they... Test positive, okay, they know they got it. The people who don't have symptoms and they don't know that they've been around somebody who had COVID, they're going to spread COVID to people, to other people, not knowingly. So either way, you just need to be safe out here. And I say if you have, you know that you have been exposed to COVID, don't let that first test result be all and all. Because like I said, if I would have let that first test result be all end all, I would have been spreading COVID to a lot of more people. I'm around a lot of people when I'm at work because my company is really big. It's like a lot of people who work there. So I could have been exposing so many people to COVID unknowingly. So I'm glad that I went back and got tested again. And now that I know my status, I can quarantine myself get it under control do some stuff that i needed to be doing so yes yeah, stay safe out there you guys don't let your guard down like i did i hope that i continue to feel how i'm feeling now throughout the rest of my sickness but comment below if y'all are gonna get the covid <laughs> vaccine like i just want to know y'all's opinion on the vaccine i'm not going to tell my opinion just yet but i just want to know what you guys opinions are on the vaccine are you going to get it are you not have you had covid during this time have you had symptoms were you around somebody who was affected like you know come 
converse with me down below like like I said I don't have anything else to do so I'm probably gonna edit these videos that's sitting in my MacBook right now I'm gonna be making content for you guys y'all can also check me out at underscore bag out chels on instagram y'all can go check me out on there talk to me on there but we're gonna be finding something to do to keep myself entertained during these two weeks because i don't have a choice since i got caught slipping <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, be safe out there. Just because you're tired of COVID doesn't mean COVID is over. So, stay safe. Stay smart. Social distance and wear your mask. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to go down and click that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Peace out. Thanks for stopping by.